Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss problem of partial differential equation from CSI NET June 2019. Example 91 from booklet C, which is of mark 4.75. Equation the general solution z is equal to f of x y of x plus y z z x plus x minus y z z y is equal to x square plus y square is first option f of x square plus y square plus z square comma z square minus x y equal to zero for all arbitrary c1 function f Second option f x square minus y square minus z square z square minus 2xy equal to 0 for arbitrary c1 function f. Third option f of x plus y plus z minus z minus 2xy equal to 0. Fourth option f x cube minus y cube minus z cube z minus 2x square y square equal to 0. Now the solution. The given equation is in the form of Langrage linear partial differential equation. P z x plus q z y equal to r, where p equal to x plus y into z. Q is a coefficient of z y, which is x minus y z. And R is a right hand side term which is x square plus y square. Then we have corresponding auxiliary equation which is of the form dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. Now substitute the value of p, q and r. Then we have dx divided by x plus y z equal to dy divided by x minus y z equal to dz divided by x square plus y square. Now we will try to make the new ratio from the above ratio such that the denominator of the new ratio will become 0. So this is the auxiliary equation which will give the original ratio. Now we will try to make the new ratio such that the denominator of that ratio will become 0. Now consider this ratio x dx minus y dy minus z dz so multiply first ratio by x so x dx divided by denominator is x into x x square into z so x square z x into y into z so x y z minus y dy so denominator of dy multiply by minus y so we have minus x y z minus minus plus y square z and the last term minus z dz so multiply last ratio by minus z then we have minus z square minus y square now you can see plus x square z cancel with the minus x square z plus x y z cancel with the minus x y z and plus y square z cancel with the y square z so we'll have the denominator zero and this is a ratio so there is some constant on the other side therefore we have x dx minus y dy minus z dz is equal to 0 if we integrate both sides then we have x square by 2 minus y square by 2 minus z square by 2 equal to 0 if we take 2 on the right hand side then we have final form x square minus y square minus z square equal to 0 so which is the first solution now similarly we try to make the another ratio which will have denominator 0 so another ratio y dx plus x dy minus z dz so multiply first ratio by y so we have x y z y into y y square z plus x dy so multiply second ratio by x so x into x x square z minus x y z 
and the in the third ratio we multiply minus z then we have minus z square minus z y square so plus x y z cancel with the minus x y z y square z cancel with the minus y square z and x square z cancel with the minus x square z therefore we have denominator is 0 and so we have equation y dx plus x dy minus z dz equal to 0 if we rewrite the first two term so which is a derivative of xy so d of xy minus z dz equal to 0 now integrate both sides then we have xy minus z square by 2 equal to 0 and if we write in the simplified form so 2xy minus z square equal to 0 which is a second solution therefore the general solution of this partial differential equation is f x square minus y square minus z square 2xy minus z square equal to 0 which is a option number 2 so option number 2 is the correct answer Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mess.